Hi, Year 11. This is Mrs Holdcroft, and I'm going to talk to you about the character of Ebenezer Scrooge. He's the central protagonist of Dickens' novella, A Christmas Carol. This whole story centres around Scrooge and his road to redemption, or transformation from miser to philanthropist. I'm going to focus predominantly on the opening, or the exposition of the novel, and the resolution, or ending, where his redemption is most evident. In stave one, Scrooge is a cruel miser, and Dickens' language technique of pathetic fallacy exemplifies this as the weather reflects his character. It's bleak, it's cold and cruel. Furthermore, two similes reflect his hard exterior. He is as hard as flint, but fire is a symbol of Christmas spirit, and flint can be used to light a fire, implying that warmth really exists in him somewhere. Another simile used to describe him is solitary as an oyster. The fact that an oyster lives at the bottom of the sea reflects Scrooge's isolation from polite Victorian society. Like Scrooge, it has a hard shell or exterior, but contains a precious pearl. So he is well worth helping. Even someone as hard as Scrooge is never beyond redemption. Another important quotation from the exposition is when he says of the poor that they are going to, if they are going to die, they should do so and decrease the surplus population. This cruel and callous statement is echoed back by the ghost of Christmas present in stave three, when Scrooge is forced to realise the true meaning of Christmas. By stave five, the resolution of the novel, Scrooge has learned his lessons about his responsibility towards mankind. As at the start of the novel, Dickens uses similes once again to reveal Scrooge's transformation. He declares himself to be as light as a feather, as happy as an angel and as merry as a schoolboy. The act of redemption has released the burden of Scrooge's sins, giving his soul a sense of joy, wonder and happiness. He also says that he is quite a baby, linking to the Christian concept of being born again. As a, as a result, he puts right all the wrongs with the Cratchits, the portly gentleman and Fred, but more importantly, to tiny Tim, who does not die, he becomes like a second father to him. <laughs>